Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, hope you're um, all okay. Um, today the weather in North West Leicestershire um, has been sunny. Um, yes, it's uh, been nice um, uh, today. Um, warmer than usual, which is... Um, definitely better uh, better than yesterday's rain anyway um so um hi if you're new here to my channel my name's rebecca um i love talking about travel and lifestyle please subscribe to join my squad and um a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so um don't forget to click the notification uh, bell uh, so you never miss the upload and um if you're watching so far a big thank you <laughs> for doing so um today i'm going to be doing a travel news at uk five exciting facts march 2023 part three so i'm going to uh, jump right into it and i'm going to kick off and um, with uh, number one breaking travel from break, breaking travel news .com, the uk to introduce a uh, travel authorization requirement and um, in november 2023 this year the united kingdom authorities have announced that the country will introduce a travel authorization requirement which is basically an electronic travel authorization ETA on November 2023 but uh, this will not um, apply to EU na nationals until next year and um, an ETA is a new requirement that starts that will start to apply, apply soon to all those who do not need a visa so if you don't need a visa then uh, to come into the UK then uh, you will have to get um, a, a ETA um, and nationals of the eu won't have to get an eta until after february 2024 which is next year but basically um uh, from november this year on uh, onwards and for eu nationals after to uh, february 2024 you will need to get um a eta to uh, come into the country that's if you don't need a visa obviously if you need a visa then uh, you don't need to get a eta um number two business travel news europe at uh, uk rail works and um, accept new pay offer from network rail which is good news um for our people our passengers and the country it's that um it's what network ra uh, rail say um which is a uh, good news um because there'll be less train strikes and obviously passengers um can use the trains um more easy more easily than what um, has been in the past with the various strikes number three the independent uh, passport office strike um so how will five weeks walk out affect your travel plans hm passport half office a staff strike for um five weeks uh, from the start of april the union says the walkout will have an, a significant impact on the delivery of passports as the summer approaches so 
and um, if you need a new passport you need to do it as soon as possible at ba uh, basically because um, there's going to be further delays to passports being rolled out so if you're going out of the UK and you need a passport then again you need to prepare well in advance and uh, basically send your passport off as soon as po possible or make a, an application for your passport as soon as possible but again um, if you've got an holiday coming up soon and obviously you've got less than six months uh, on your passport obviously the car, uh, it's a sticky situation because um, there's no guarantee um, that your passport would get done in time um, number four um, BBC News, National Express, West Midlands, uh, bus driver strike underway. A hundreds of thousands of bus passengers are experiencing travel disruptions as drivers are one of the UK's biggest networks um, have walked out in a pay row. National Express, West Midlands urged. Uh, uh, customers not to travel on its local services unless you really need to um, to, um, National Express West Midlands uh, runs 1,600 buses on routes across Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Coventry, Walsall, Dudley and West Bromwich and and also into parts of Worcestershire so it'll be those areas that are going to be affected unfortunately um, and again if there is another way that you can get to where you need to be then it's better to choose the other option than obviously to rely on the local buses um, or if there's another local bus route maybe it takes you a bit longer and um, it would be better to go for that than um, go for the Nash Express West Midland last but not least um, and the mirror um, you can uh, take an epic 50 day bus ride with stops in 22 countries wow this sounds amazing and fantastic um, the bus um, to London or you can go from London by adventures overland uh, will be traveling through 22 european countries covering 12,000 kilometers um under a 56 day from istanbul to slovenia up to the top of norway and uh, down to france and um over the channel only 30 seats are available for the bus tour on a first come first serve basis uh, with the first journey to begin in august this year wow it sounds fantastic the cost of the journey is a total nineteen thousand eight hundred and thirteen pounds based on two people sharing a twin room Um, again it's um, a lot of money but um, if you basically want to travel all around Europe and travel to as many countries as possible then and you don't want to fly you don't like flying then again it's another option 
um, to think about um, obviously if you have the money um, you would also be um, in hotel accommodation included in that price as well but for more information you can go on adventures overland um, dot com or uh, to find out more so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you um, not tomorrow but um, on uh, Friday um, for a budget travel special so thank you for watching and bye for now have a a nice night and a, as good day as possible tomorrow thank you bye